Hello, I am Krishna Raghavendran and in this tutorial of MIT App Inventor, we are going to see how to add themes to your app. So you can add a dark theme for your app and light theme for your app. So as you can see, all the apps which we use have a dark theme and a light theme. So let me show you how to, let me just show you the demo of the app. So this is just an app which has some text, some labels and as you can see there's a star image and there's a button and these are this is a list view where there are some items so i'll just switch this to dark theme by using this toggle button so i'll just do like this and you can see that the background has become dark now all the text the image and also the items in the list view the text of the items in the list view are in white in color because we need to change it to white so that they'll be visible also the button is a dark gray color as you can see over here and now i'll switch it again to light theme and now you can see it changes if you are new to my channel my channel is all about creating your own mobile apps free and easily using a tool called mit app inventor which is block based coding and easy so if you want to create fantastic mobile apps start now by clicking the red subscribe button and the bell icon and light theme in your app using the toggle button which is over here switch button so now first i'm going to put the title using a label and i'll just type my app just for a sample app i'm going to increase the font size of this to be 30 and i'll make the font to be bold like this and next i'm going to bring this to be at the center of screen one by going to screen one and changing both of these properties to be center align horizontal and align vertical so if you put align vertical to be center as you can see even this this comes at the middle of the screen or the center so i'll just change this to be top so that it comes to the top of the screen next i'm also going to bring in another label and over here i'm just going to type a sample text like this is an app next what i'll do is i'm going to bring in an image so here i'll just show a logo of the app so it will probably be a star or something like that as i showed you in the demo of this video so we will insert the image later but now we will set the height and width of this to be 150 pixels next i'm going to bring in a button and i'll just change the text of this button to be button like this it's just a sample one i'll make the font to be bold next i'm going to change the background color of this button to be this color code so as you can see make sure for this is what we are making making now is the light theme of the app which is the default one but if you want you can set the dark theme to be the default also so for the light theme make sure you choose the button color to be a light color like i did so you can just go over here and choose your color so as you can see you can make it darker and lighter so i'll just copy paste it again this one and i'll click on done now you can see that the color of the button is little more light next we are also going to add list view i'm going to change the background color of this list view to be like white and then the, make sure you change the text color to be black so if you don't change the text color to be black the text will not be visible because the background color and the text color will be white which will make the text to to not be visible so make sure you do that properly next what we will do is i'm just going to put item 1 to item 7 in this elements from string just to show you the difference between dark and light theme using a list view in a mighty app inventor as you can see i just brought in seven items next as you can see that there's no space to put the switch component using which we can toggle the dark theme and the light theme so for that what i'll do is i'll click on screen one and in the properties make sure that this scrollable property is enabled what this will do is this will add a scroll bar well where we can sc scroll through the app next i'll just add the switch component like this i'll just scroll down and now i'm going to change the text of this to be light theme or light mode whatever you want and i'll make the font to be bold so this is to tell that the current theme is the light theme so now what you can do is after they switch on the toggle the text will be changed to dark theme so we will do that in the block section as you can see over here i have created two versions of the same logo so you can create that using 
any editing software photo editing software so I just use Canva just to show you so I have brought in a star and you can see that this is star white and this one is star black so these are just two versions so for the light theme we will use the star black because it should be visible in the white background as you can see in the light theme the background is white so if you put the star also to be white then it will not be visible so this is for the light theme next for the dark theme you cannot use this one because it will blend in with the background as the background is also black color so for that we need to use the star white image which is the white version of this logo so make sure you have both of these images for the logo or you can create one using canva or any other software and then what we will do is we are going to upload these images to mit app inventor by going over to media and clicking on upload file and i'll choose my file now you can see that i uploaded both of these files star black.png and star white.png now i'll go on to the image one and i'm going to change the picture to be star black because then only it will be visible in the light theme in the block section when they switch the toggle what we will do is we will change all the properties of the components we will make these labels white so that it will be visible in the black ba background and it will not blend in we will also make this white by changing the image to be star white in the block section the same way for the button we will make the background to be dark and then we will change the, the text color to be like white the same way we will make this list view background to be dark and we will change the text color of this items to be like wh white color the same way we will change the text over here light theme text also to be in white in color during the dark theme so we will do all this in the block section so let's go to the block section so first what i'm going to do is let me go over to switch one and as you can see there's a block called when switch one dot changed this means that the switch value true or false is changed might be they have switched it off or they can switch it on so whenever there's a change detected in the switch we need to find out what it is using an if condition so over here i'm also going to put an else if but first i'll just go to math blocks and i'm going to bring in the equal to operator like this next let me go to switch one and you'll be able to see a block called switch one dot on and we will set this to be true we will check if it is true so this means that if the switch one dot on which means that the switch is on is equal to true it means that the switch is switched on which means that we need to change the theme of the app to dark theme so to do that first i'll we will show it in the label of the switch so we'll just go over here and as you can see set switch one dot text to we will bring in this block and the text is going to be dark theme so let me bring in the text block and i'll type in dark theme over here next we are going to set all of these components to white because then only it will be visible in the dark theme so instead of doing it over here we can create a procedure so let me just bring in the procedure like this and here i'm going to change the name of the procedure to be dark theme and the same way i will duplicate this and i'll put another procedure for the light theme next what i'm going to do is i will call the dark theme like this over here the dark theme procedure so we will put all the components to be changed into white over here but first let me just put an else if condition over here by dragging it over here so that we can put it for the light theme too i'll just duplicate this and over here what i'm going to do is i'll set this to be false this means that the switch one is switched off and it is not switched on which means that it is the light theme so let me just get set the text of this to be light theme and now we will duplicate this and we are going to call the light theme procedure like this first let us do the dark theme of this app so for that what we will do is we will change the background to be black color so for that what i'll do is go to screen one and here i'm going to bring in screen one dot background color to this block and here i'll put black so you can go to colors and you can bring in the black color like this so i'll just change this to be the darkest which is black and the next what we will do is we, we need to change the color of this components to be white so that it will be visible 
so for that as you can see this is label 1 so let me go to label 1 and I'll set the text color of label 1 to be white so let me just duplicate this and over here I'll just put white like this so what you need to do is you need to do this for all of these components so I'll just duplicate this again and over here I'll change this to be label 2 next we need to do this for the image so as you can see we have two images for the logo star black and star white so we will use the star white dot png this time so I'll just go over to the image and I'll bring in this block set image one dot picture to here I'll set this to be star white dot png next as you can see we have the button so for the button we will choose a darker color so let me go over here and in the dark theme let me go to the button and we will set the background color of this button to be let me duplicate this color and I'm going to set this to be something like this which is also dark and then we need to change the text of the button color the text color of the button to be white so that it will be visible again so let me go to button and over here I'm going to bring in this block set button one dot text color to and the text color is going to be white like this next let's do the list view so for the list view in the dark theme we will change the background of this the background color to be black so let me go in the block section I'll go over to list view and over here I'll just go and bring in this block set list view one dot background color and I'll duplicate this one like this and I'm going to put black next the text of this list view should be turned into white so that it will be visible again so let me just duplicate this and over here I'll change this to be text color and I'm going to change it to be white like this next we have the last component which is the switch so when we change the background to be black as you can see even this text is black in color so we need to change it to white in the dark theme so in the block section let me go to switch and as you can see we have in the switch you can see we have the switch one dot text color two. I'll bring in this block and we are going to set this to be white now that's it we have finished the dark theme next let's do the light theme so you can just duplicate the whole thing and I'm going to change I'll just delete this and over here I'll put light theme and I'll just change this to be light theme now we are we are just going to put the opposite of all of these of the dark theme so instead of black we will set this to be white so that the background color is white the text color of the labels to be black so that it will be visible and again the logo to be black and then the button one background color to be I'll go over here and I'm going to copy this code over here as you can see we have the hex code so we can convert this code to RGB and after I converted it I found that RGB value is 239 comma 239 comma 239 so I'll go to colors and I'm going to bring in this block make a color and the color of the button I'll just delete this is going to be I'll just change this to be 239 next the button one dot text color should be black the list view dot background color should be white the text color of the list view to be black and then the switch text color to be black now as you can see we finished both the dark and the light theme and using the if condition we are calling it now let us test the app so here you can see the app i'm going to change the light theme to be dark theme as you can see you can see that the background is black and all these labels and the image is changed to white also you can see the color change in the button I'll again set this to be the light theme you can see that it is again the light theme so you can just toggle between this app so this can be used in any app so I, I just created a sample app to show you how to change the color of labels the background color the image color and everything else like this now you have learned how to change between themes to change the UI design of the app now you need to make sure the app is properly arranged and all the components are properly arranged. So watch this layouts video and also watch my full course of MIT App Inventor over here.